After Effects tutorial. Hey guys, Ricky here, motionbucks.com. In this video, I got a cool little animation we're gonna create. It's actually pretty simple and easy and produces a really realistic, awesome looking effect. So let's go ahead and create our star. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new composition. We'll just call it star. Let's make the background color black for space. Click on OK. Duration can just be 10 seconds. And go ahead and click on OK. Let's go ahead and start by creating a solid. Right click here, new, solid. And we can go ahead and call this fractal noise, I guess. Fractal noise. Color doesn't matter. But for fun, I'll make it yellow. Click on OK. OK. Now let's go up here to our effects and presets, and let's type in fractal noise. And double click on fractal noise. And we're going to play with this to create what's going to be the surface of our star, the surface of the sun. So let's start by changing our fractal type to dynamic. It looks kind of bubbly. Leave this at soft linear, contrast brightness, we're not going to worry about right now. Let's go ahead and drop down, transform, see what we can do with this. You can play with rotation, it basically looks the same. Either way, we're not going to be messing with that. Let's bring our scale down to make it smaller. That's about good. If you want to make it solid, you can just type in 50 here. Make everything smaller, more detailed. And let's have this thing moving around, bubbling around to make it look like the surface of our sun. So, let's go to our evolution, make sure we're at the beginning of the timeline. Let's click on the stopwatch. Let's bring it all the way to the end. And you see as it evolves, this move around it makes it look like it's alive or it's bubbling. So let's say we start at zero. Let's go ahead and let's do it four times. Four times in 10 seconds. Let's check that out. Pretty cool. Let's make it even cooler. Let's go up here. And while we're still highlighted on our fractal noise, let's go to another effect. Let's type in CC toner. Okay, this will let us play with the colors. Boom. So right now this kind of turned it brown. Okay. Here's our options here, down here, CC toner. Let's go ahead and bring that up. We're going to mess with these colors here. This allows us to mess with three colors, highlights, midtones, and shadows. Let's change this to pentone, five colors, and we can change five colors here. So let's go ahead and pick colors that look like, you know, like the molting surface of the sun. For brights, okay, I'm going to leave highlights white. That makes sense. Brights. Let's check out a red. It's burning. See how that works. All right, mid-tones. Let's do like a yellow. That's pretty crazy. Maybe a little, bit, a little bit of orange in that yellow. All right, cool. Let's do our dark tones, these browns that we can see. Let's change that also to red. How's that look? Pretty sick. And leave the shadows black. Now let's want to see what it looks like. Well, that's pretty crazy. Okay, that looks like the surface of the sun boiling. I like it. So now we got the surface of our sun, let's turn it into the shape of the sun. That's pretty easy as well. With fractal noise highlighted, go up here. Let's change the CC toner to CC sphere. Double click on that. And check it out. We got what's going to be our sun. Looks pretty neat. As we scroll through, you can see the bubblings happening on the surface. Very cool. Let's make this thing bigger. So radius here, I'm going to change it to let's make it 350. Nice. Okay, now let's go to our light. Let's check that out. Light intensity, I'm going to turn that up. I'm going to double that, make that 200. Looking better already. Let's turn the light height up so there's not as much shadow on the back end. Because, I mean, the sun itself produces the light. So does it even have a shadow? I don't think so. So let's bring that light up. 100. Bam, the whole thing's lit. It's giving off the light itself and the warmth. Next, go ahead and go back to the video that you're currently watching right now. Go ahead and click on the like button, and then you want to click on the subscribe button. Now once you've done that, scroll down and go ahead and add a cool comment. This is the coolest video I have ever seen in my entire life of living on this planet we call Earth. Something like that. Go ahead and click on comment. Light direction doesn't matter because we turned it all the way up. Let's go ahead and make it rotate now to look more like a celestial body out in space. So let's go to rotation. We're going to rotate it on its Y axis. See like that? That's pretty neat. So how many times should this thing rotate within 10 seconds? Let's see, let's click right here, stopwatch, bring it all the way to the end. So it starts at three and within 10 seconds or after 10 seconds, let's make it just jump up to 123 for a slow, steady rotation. 
like this. It's pretty neat. That's your sun right there. I say that's pretty awesome. It already looks pretty realistic. Let's mess with it some more. If you want, you can drop down shading right here and play with the ambient, ambient effect. If you turn that up, it gets kind of more yellow. You turn down the fuse, it brings out kind of the reddish orange of it. Looking kind of like a pizza right there, but when it's moving, it looks pretty cool. However you prefer your star to look, the brightness and color, that's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. I think that's pretty neat. Let's not have it have a sharp edge around the outside, so let's add kind of like a solar flare effect. Let's go up here, click and hold, and make sure we get the ellipse tool. And let's just create ourselves an ellipse and try to make it the same size. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's hit Control alt home put the anchor point in the center let's see how this is in comparison almost the same there bring our star up pretty cool we can actually rename this i'm going to do that press enter here type in star cool and our shape layer is a little too big it's not going to matter that much because we're going to do some cool stuff with this thing that looks about right to me good enough let's take our scale on the shape layer and just bring it down a little bit that's about perfect. Cool. Let's hide our star for now. Click the eyeball right here. <coughs> let's get out of that. Now let's change the color of this thing. Let's make it orange, I guess. Maybe a little brighter like this. Something like that. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, go up here. And let's type in turbulent displacement. Turbulent displace. Double click. Make sure your shape layer is highlighted and double click on that. And now we got it all wobbly warbly. Marble. Let's change the amount to a little over 100, 110. Let's do that. The size, let's turn that down to, let's say, something like that, right? Neat. Now, complexity, let's bring that up. Let's see what we're doing there. Okay, now you can see it. What about 10? Complexity of 10. So let's go ahead and bring our star back to where we can see it. And mess with this evolution, you see what we're going for, kind of like a flaming surface there. That's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and start at zero. Check the stopwatch next evolution, bring it all the way up over here. And how much do we want it to move during that time? How about that? What about four go arounds? Let's check it out. Pretty cool stuff. Let's actually make this thing glow. All right, that'll make it even cooler. Shape layer one, go up here. Let's type in the word glow and double click on glow. And now it's glowing a little bit. Let's play with this. Let's start by bringing that threshold down. Okay, that brings up the glow a little bit more. Glow radius, that's how big we want it to glow on the outside. Let's make this a little bit tighter and closer. So, yeah, let's bring that down maybe to about around 75 there. Let's turn up the intensity. Something like that's pretty cool. I like that. And if you want, these are kind of sticking up pretty far off of your star. You can always go back to your shape layer and scale it down a little bit more. It's where you just have a little bit of edges popping off. I think that looks a little bit cooler, more realistic. You don't want it just, I guess you can have it a burning fireball if you want, but I like it just to be coming off the surface just a little bit. So I'm going to leave it like that. That's pretty neat. we got a burning sun right there. Let's go ahead and add another glow. This one we're just going to have for a whole glow around it, kind of like an aura. So with this highlighted, let's just double click on glow again. And this time, instead of color channels right here, glow based on, let's change that to alpha channel. That right there looks pretty cool just like that. But actually what I want to do is create a color around this, make it look kind of reddish orange. It'll make our sun flares kind of pop. So let's do that. So first thing, let's just bring up that glow radius. Let's just crank this bad boy all the way up. Let's say, let's turn our threshold down to zero. Now we got this crazy glow going on right here. Let's change our color to like a red. Okay, so let's see without that. You can have that going on. You can have this kind of a red glow behind it. Let's change our color B to also be red. That fills it out even more. And there we have it. We're done. A star is born. Play with the settings, the colors. Create the kind of star you'd like to see, and before you know it, you'll be the star. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Now, if you would like to learn how to make money creating these animations, then just check out my website, motionbucks.com. Not only will I show you how to make more animations like we just did, but I'll also teach you how to sell these templates online. You can actually start getting paid for your motion graphics skills. 
I've got hours upon hours of tutorials ranging from complete beginners to advanced. You can start today for free. That's motionbucks.com. That's right. There's no referral link, no coupon code. Just go to motionbucks.com or click the link in the description and start today for free. I'll see you there.